we have a what we have here is we have uh, have a little bit too loud blues. <laughs> Uh, so this is the beginning, uh, they're getting ready to have the worship service, it's going to be a little interesting because um, lots of people are ready to, to do their, uh, their chanting and for their march, so we'll see whether we can hear anything. Uh, basically what we've got here is, uh, I'm going to say about 10, 15,000 people at the moment. Um, I, I used to cover these marches for, when I was a newspaper reporter. I've covered some 300, 500,000 person marches. Um, the people here today are marching for the 11 to 18 million illegal aliens. Uh, their idea is to put the uh, illegal aliens at the front of the line. They have the, uh, uh, they have the jobs, 8 million of them have jobs. We're here, Numbers USA is here, representing the 25 million, uh, representing the 25 million um, unemployed Americans. They are, uh, uh, they are unrepresented here today, but that's fine because these people have every right to be here and to, uh, they have every right to be here and to uh, express their opinion and also try to keep us from expressing our opinion apparently. But uh, uh, we are here as proxies for the 25 million unemployed Americans. So we'll see how it goes today. I'm holding them up. Well, um, we might kind of we might kind of scan all of the uh, very expensive uh, uh, monitors. This is a very expensive march. Uh, Tim, take a look at this. This is a very expensive march. Obviously, most illegal aliens do not make very much money. There's no way they could put on a march like this. There are a lot of people who can make a lot of money off of illegal immigration, and they put the money up for this. Um, you've got you've got the corporations that depend on the, the cheap labor rather than hiring a, our own American workers. Uh, a lot of landscapers, restaurateurs. Um, they've got a lot of money in it. There's also a lot of money from foundations that are connected with the corporations. Ford Foundation, George Soros. Sir, also. what do you think about free speech? Yeah. <laughs> well, there's not much free speech going on here today. But uh, this is the, uh, actually, they're gonna, they're gonna look, good look at this. Thank you. Thank these you. Are, Appreciate it. These are the cards that are being uh, passed around as we walk. Anybody who stands up for 25 million American workers who can't find a job is a bigot, according to this organizer of this march. I don't really blame, uh, I don't really blame a lot of the illegal aliens that are here and some of the other marchers. Um, their emotions are all whipped up. But the organizers of this march know exactly what they're doing. Uh, they do everything possible to make sure that uh, the American workers are not represented, cannot be heard. Um, it takes a lot of effort. Uh, Numbers USA has put a lot of effort today. That's a nice breeze on my back to represent the American workers. 25 million can't find a job, and yet the people here say that 8 million illegal aliens who have jobs should be at the front of the line. Um, they will ultimately lose, of course, uh, because the American citizens will stand up, we will mobilize them, and uh, there will not be comprehensive amnesty this year. The question is, can we, the citizens of America, bring about some kind of an immigration moratorium? Can we get, can we get workplace enforcement that will drive the illegal aliens out of their jobs so that 7 million unemployed Americans can have those jobs? Um, this is the, this is a lot of people here today, but uh, it's a tiny little portion of America. It's, uh, it's very exciting for them. In many ways, the organizers have done a great disservice to the people who have come today because they've given them hope for something that's not going to happen. Um, however, it is a cautionary tale for American citizens that if they do not step up, this is the, these people's views will prevail. Uh, and so it is a question, who's at the front of the line? It's 8 million illegal aliens. 
that they want to put at the front line for the 25 million unemployed Americans. Apparently, uh, they, they have uh, uh, succeeded in uh, barring the, uh, we are the proxies for the 25 million unemployed Americans, and, uh, what's wait a minute? Okay. We're the proxies for the 25 million unemployed Americans. Uh, we're not allowed on the mall today, not, not over there. So, uh, uh, of course, part of the problem is they said, we've been creating a commotion, as you have been able to watch. We've done no commoting. <laughs> but, uh, uh, this is, this is basically the way that most open borders debate goes. And that is, it's, a, it's the politics of intimidation. But as you can see, a fair amount of intimidation going on at this very minute. Fortunately, the members of Congress uh, cannot be surrounded in this way. This is why we asked all of our 7,000 members who visited the, uh, who visited the home offices of Congress on Friday. We asked all of them to be as civil as possible. And uh, as you can see, as you can see, the, the park police is actually protecting our right of free, free speech right now. They're telling us that we can't, uh, they can't whistle us down anymore. How about that? That feels great. Uh, it's the first time today I've had <laughs> a silence. Yeah, 